Hey, hey, is anybody home today? We're just having a free opportunity. Do y'all know what it is? <laughs> hey, Jasmine, what's up, girl? It is a beautiful day of about 56 degrees. Does anybody know what we're doing for free? Oh, look, it's Gypsy Cooper. Uh. <laughs> Hey y'all, I have to come to Target because <clears throat> I'm going to get some hair buildup remover. I know you're like, what? why are you telling me that? <laughs> and I'm going to try out this buildup buster by Diva Curl. I, I don't typically go that route, uh, but for some reason my hair has buildup on it. And I'm in the midst of getting a new shower filter, and what I think it is is that nasty city water. I know what you're thinking. Alert, you're absorbing that. I know I have to get a new one is the problem. But as you see, it's a free opportunity. See, we were way down there. Isn't it all about the choices, like each little choice we make? Like, we're having free exercise. <laughs> I can't see. We're having free exercise today. Huh? And we're chatting. Like every moment can be a moment for you to love and for people to wonder why you're videoing yourself and walking. But you, you don't mind really, do you? I certainly don't. See, look, I got a little heart pump going just up the parking lot like that. What do y'all think? Each moment choosing, each moment choosing, just like your food. Do you want to make an excuse or make it happen? Here's another wording. Think about this. I heard somebody say this the other day. I forget who it was. I believe it was Grant Cardone. Do you know who that is? He runs Cardone Capital. He was talking about um, when you say, I can't. What if you reworded it to say, I won't? Meaning, I won't choose to do that, or will you? I mean, I can't, I can't overcome my cravings. I can't walk from the end of the parking lot. I can't. Is that really true? Or is it that you won't? There was a parking spot. What made me think of this is there was a parking spot up here, it was, a, it was a number two. I was like, woohoo, number two. And the new Gypsy Cooper didn't want to pull in there. She would fit, I mean, she's small. But really, why? Why not be in gratitude for the fact that you have two legs that can stride from the end of the parking lot? Or the fact that you have free will to choose that, you know? What do y'all think? We've all heard that it's such a simple thing, but do we implement these things that could actually change our life? all the little things, you know? My new group started today and some people were sharing their whys and um, people, people have a need and they want to change, you know? But a lot of times it boils down to free will and really your dedication to the promises you've made to yourself. And are you mapping out that why strong enough? Because when motivation around you and isn't around you and it's not enough around you, then you can revisit your why. Why you want to do different. What your dreams and goals look like, you know? Hey, Dawn, how are you? Dawn has a new challenge over on Facebook. Dawn, I've been blessing that up. <laughs> but I was like, that's really awesome. And she is building a community of like-minded people wanting to, I mean, if you bounce on your rebounder, 20 minutes a day, every dang day for this whole year, do you in fact not think you're gonna get some results? And you might be saying, I can't even walk. Okay, well get on that thing like I used to and cross your legs. Sometimes I couldn't cross my legs because like Indian style, because the edema was too bad or my sciatic nerve hurt too bad. So I would sit on the side and I would bounce because I knew in fact and believed in fact that I needed to move my lymphatic system. And, uh, and th then eventually over time, I was able to stand up and hold on to the back of the couch and then 
eventually I could bounce, you know? And then I could fly, you know? Hey, Carly, what are you doing? Carly is so frustrating. She's had really, Carly, I'm at Target. <laughs> and you will appreciate that because there you are, I can't actually hear you on here. She has some terrible connection and she will be like, I gotta tell you something, I'm standing on my left baby toe with tipped over and, and I'm like, what, what? And I'm like hearing five words. See, it's, you don't have gratitude for me on to talk to your daughter until you can't talk to her or until like the communication is not clear. Cardi's been doing her taxes and being in gratitude that she made money this year, being in gratitude that she's running her, her businesses and that you have the opportunity to do that, you know? I was talking to Christopher on the text earlier and he was just saying, you know, I, I just don't see eye to eye with some people. And I, I was like, this is why you are in the warrior mode, son. You are in the rite of passage stage because you realize that's not where you want to be. You feel stuck, but what are you going to do? You're going to go into resistance of working another job, deciding what you want to do, turning down the media, turning down all the stuff, shut the stuff up and get on with it. Otherwise, you're gonna stay stuck in the rut with the muck, you know? And, um, you know, also, it's so funny too, because we can hold on to what we see as our reality. Don't you love how we're just in Target? And I almost could get my hiney up on that, but I'm not quite. <laughs> as if I'm not drawing it like a spectacle standing here in the doorway. But you know what, we can get stuck in that thought of like, there's just many situations in my life like this, but, um, you know, when I was married all those years and I didn't, uh, I would have never left him. I would, it, it was, you know, cheating and bashing and badgering and um, violence and hostility and all this. And, and no, I wasn't perfect either, but I, I would have never left that situation because that's all I knew. And uh, be excited to be scared to move forward. Be excited for things in your life that that feel res that you feel resistant to, that feel like work, that feel like a challenge. Because without that, without content creating your your life, you're dying. Right? There's no staying the same. Right? So. I was just thinking about that, about how I used to, would hold on to that. I was like, no, baby, come back. Just come back. I don't care, just, baby, come back. And uh, he never did. And I am the stronger and soaring butterfly for it. But I didn't know that would happen. And a lot of times in our life, we don't know why we're going through the challenges or the resistance. We don't understand until years later the strength that it in fact has built. You know what I mean? You picking up what I'm laying down? You're thinking, yeah, that happened with such and such. I thought, why the heck me? Why me? And um, thinking about that with some things, Carter's tried to hold on so tight. And, and once she couldn't hold on and control that anymore, and, and it couldn't hold on that tight, and it, it went away, was really like the basket she had been carrying on her shoulders full of stuff she didn't need and it was the water container on her head that she was tramping back and forth from the river and back and oh when the weight was gone you know when the weight was gone she had built such strength and I had built such strength living under pressure that the coal became a diamond Shine bright, little diamond, right? And um, and I was saying that same thing to Chris. I was like, you know, people in my life that were back then when I was 19 and 20, and um, I still know a lot of those people, and, and I, I have some friends. I, you know, I, I really don't. We're not. We don't. We're not in each other's lives every day, and that's okay. That it's fine. Not holding on. Really, that's a trap because you think you're holding on to people and stuff and you think that you're collecting things. But all it is is things collecting you, collecting your free spirit, collecting your dreams and your goals and your hopes, you know? And you can have people in your life and you can still create that together or separate. Maybe you have 
different things you're creating, but at the end of the night, you come together and you live in love and you can be excited, you know? And you can be excited and, and about the pressure they're under. And you're like, I know this is hard, but look where you're going. And maybe, I don't know, whatever they're wanting to do, what's that got to do with you? Nothing, you know? But in these times when we can make choices and we have free will and we can park Gypsy Cooper at the end of the parking lot, right? And um, and have gratitude for doing taxes and that you have to pay money because you made money, you know? Or all the things, gratitude for all the things, you know? Y'all got anything to say about that? Hello, friends. Are y'all not talking? You just listening? Are y'all, were you listening? <laughs> were you listening? <laughs> but it's just like I was thinking, um, is even about having hair that's not paper thin and not, um, I saw Scott Crow not too long ago and we went on a ride in the snow and um, he was like, wow, your hair. Cause he, I mean, it's, it's really, it's pretty long. It hadn't been this long since I was a teenager because um, I was supposed to have like a, a mom look, you know what I mean? And, um, and that's what I was told. And that's what um, I lived in under dictatorship that I allowed. Right, and um, and then it all fell out, and it, it barely grew back. And then I was thankful that it's growing back, you know. And now I'm thankful that it's growing thicker and thicker and healthier. That I'm able to share my story of love and light and health, and that healing is real. And I heal more every dang day and year. Can't you see? Don't you want that? You know, and understanding that you're going to trip your way to success, understanding that a good friend in my group was sharing with us um, some stuff she had been through, and uh, and it was so life-altering, you don't even know what to say, but you know what she said? She said, I was doing so good and I was doing good and the next month came and, and I was doing good on my own. I was building momentum and building health and my family was on board of me. And then this happened. And Tanny, it wasn't just a pebble I tripped over and put it in my pocketbook. It was, in fact, a boulder. But now she's using that and not allowing that to be the demise of her but to the pressure of it pressurized when you're pressurized strength is gained right and then when the pressure lets off oh how you will soar right and I love that I love that about her and um, I love people's honesty and truth and and getting truthful with yourself looking and not saying I, I can't I don't have willpower you won't because you don't have a plan, right? You, you can't because, well, I don't know if my why is strong enough. Well, your why that is undefined is strong enough that it's making you miserable, but you just hadn't taken enough quiet time to hear it. It's right there for you inside your heart, did you know? And I made a video this morning. I wasn't even, that food's waiting on me for later. It's over on, I put like some clips here on Instagram in the picture, but um, up on my YouTube, I, I did it. I did the clips together, I know. And I was like so proud and then I was like, dang, I forgot to turn that, but I didn't care. I just stuck it in there because it was like wide shot, then narrow shot. At least it was some wide shot. Have gratitude, won't you? And I was like, and it faded in, and, and Ellie was polite and fluffy, and the, it was, yes. I didn't have to, to even look to see, um, how was the lighting uh, in here? Does my hair look thin? No, because it ain't. 
How does the lighting look? Can you see the caked makeup on top of my nodular acne? No, because it's not there anymore, right? And even the things that, that, that aren't um, all they could be yet, I don't even mind, you know? I didn't look to think, did I turn my head a little bit so you didn't think my nose was crooked? Because I don't mind. I didn't think, are my eyebrows even, did they need plucking, you know? Did I have any shimmer shadow right here? And somebody's gonna say, it looks like you have a crease. You've had an eye lift, haven't you? <laughs> Friends, uh -uh. I've never had any work done like that. I had to have my nose sliced up, and y'all heard the story several years ago. Um, how old was uh, my kids? Anyway, let's see. Carter might have been in about the third grade or fourth. But anyway, because I couldn't breathe, my nose was had collapsed up in there, like the lining had been eaten out and it was collapsing. And um, what the doctor did, I, I would suggest you never let an ear, nose, and throat doctor decide that this is something he wanted to try. <laughs> Somehow that seemed like a good idea to me. Anyway, so he took part of the ear cartilage and sometimes I'll have to show that, but it's still never really, I don't know, you can still feel it like knots, like a bunch of stitches, but he scooped out um, cartilage and he sliced my nose open and he propped it open and up in there, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's like these pockets, you can see them. And I can actually shove stuff up in there and hold them like, I don't know, a, a army figure, it's, it's pretty cool talent of this granny but anyway so a lizard tail it, it's I mean because it'll kind of hold it up in there see gratitude for the slits in your nostrils friends but anyway and they shove that up in there and ever since then if I laugh really hard or I'm super happy or smile big the vein has been displaced and it will like make this veiny across my nose and then it, uh, my nose will forever be crooked and um that's just the way it is, and I don't mind. I just live in gratitude for the fact that I could park at the end of this parking lot when before I would have wondered if I could have made it into the store and out, you know? And that's a thing. So, <clears throat> thinking about that with the pressure though. Hey, Karen. What's your advice on a banana vegan? What are your advices on for people who want to gain weight on a raw diet. Is, there, <clears throat> is it realistic for people with eating disorders? Did you ask me this the other day? I don't think it was you. Somebody was asking me about, um, you can absolutely gain weight on a raw diet. I see people doing it all the time, accidentally, okay? And you can lose weight. It, it you know, depends on, of course, your your BMI, your activity, what kind of meds you're on, what what destruction you've done to your body, and, and you've allowed yourself to do to your body, but you're climbing out of that. That's something that I would not want to just throw out random advice about, um, but you absolutely can. And furthermore, it's not like building weight on Twinkies and junk food. You're building it on real food. You're building health into your life, you know? And, and also combining like weight training with that, not like heavy cardio, but weight training so that as you're having a calorie surplus above what you normally do, you're gonna build lean muscle tissue, you know, so you can feel good and you can feel strong, right? So yes, I think that's true. Hey Jill, how are you? Um, I have to look at what color this lip liner is. I think this one is actually, I, I was going through my makeup this morning. It's a little bitty piece I had left from a Pure Cosmetics, P-U-R, that I got. Um, Y'all might have seen, I think it was the summer before last or this past summer. I was showing you that I had got like a little trial thing. But, um, so it's that. But I like something that's very close to, to the lip tone on the inside of my lips, you know. And then lining, I, I really don't go outside, um, my lips i mean that's another thing do you care that like all the time people <laughs> love to say stuff like where are your lips they're right here you know this is how the universe made me right and they work just fine yes they do
Oh my word, what are y'all talking about? Dawn, I'm not savvy, but, but Christopher, he needed an extension on something. I was like, I don't know, I could use some tech work. And um, the fade is really easy, it is. And I'm gonna have an intro and extra so that YouTube can quit banning my video sound in the majority of countries. <laughs> they don't like that. They're like, don't worry, it's not a strike against your integrity. What it is, is you can't monetize this. You can't make $1 off this over these six months, which is <laughs> about what you make. And, but they're not gonna let anybody hear it either in all these countries. I'm like, could you at least, I mean, could, why don't you just mute the music? But no, they're gonna like, I don't know, I'm just not doing it anymore. And we may not have been feeling good, but um, she did get ready for the reset this morning. She took her bath, she got on her jewelry, she got a, a blow dry. And she, I said, do you wanna blow out? And she said, no, natural waves. <laughs> she agreed if I would hashtag that to natural waves or nat and natural beauty. I'm like, girl, she just looked at me like, waiting. <laughs> Robin the fade, girl, come on. Oh, yes, about the nose. I know, right? <laughs> but whatever. That's just the way it goes, you know? But I really have empathy if you have to get ears shoved up in your nostrils, right? And you can't always smell that good, but you can hear twice as good as everybody else. Did you catch that? Because your ears, you got, got it. <laughs> I found a mold kit in the garage to clean it out. I can mail it to you if you still need it. Dawn. But then I'll know if there's mold under there, and then I will be feeling like I'm lying if I try to sell that house. And I... They're gonna check anyway. It's like $10,000 to clean it up. Did y'all know that? I... <laughs> anyway, well, I'm gonna go, but um, all the way at the end of this parking lot is where we came from. And now we've had a chat. You just never know what's gonna go on in your life and in your world. You really don't. Gathering yourself, what is it you want for your life? Getting a plan and proceeding with doing that. That is what it's about. Showing up, I, I was more emphatic than any time ever in the reset, reset this morning because lo and behold, every time somebody at the end is like, well, I didn't get a chance to watch. Can you extend it? No, it goes down after it, when it's over, it's over, okay? When the tall lady sings for the last time, it's over. Okay, I might leave it one day, but you see what I mean? And like, and I, I, I tell people, and you gotta show up, because if you don't show up, it's like too much content to consume in one weekend, and you really do the homework, and and uh, and I want that homework, people. I, I am gonna be, there should be a prize for everybody that shows their homework, because sometimes, and friends, I know if you're showing me the one from before, I have a really good memory. Robin, I'm in Target. I'm just having a video chat in Target, you see? <laughs> There's been about a hundred people that walked in and out of here. Maybe not that many. So you don't really have to care if other people approve of what you're doing. You just don't. I mean, you could be going into Alton, or, or you could be at Whole Foods trying out their cosmetics, and the lady come over and be like, can I help you with something? And you're like, girl, I'm just playing in your makeup. I, <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I'm like, I know you do this when, when you don't have any customers. She's like, yes, yeah, sometimes I do. Hey, from Minnesota. Minnesota. Is that where Lake Minnetonka is? And if so, is that not where Prince rode? What was that girl's name? Apollonia on the back of the motorcycle. Stephanie, I, I was knowing something. Thanks, Jill. 
know what's funny is, is my eyes were this color when I was a baby. And even I posted up a picture a couple weeks ago that I had a little dancing outfit. It was dancing into the new year. I guess it was a week ago. Anyway, um, you could tell in that picture that they weren't really, uh, I lived off trash. And you could tell it too. And then as I, as I was a teenager, they were very like slivered, puffy. Um, and they were murky looking, more of a, a green gray. And uh, then as I became sick, they were very dark. And the whites were not white. And, um, and now they're this, you know? And I really do think that your eyes, they do show your health. I mean, it can't tell the whole story because one person might think, oh, that person's eyes look unhealthy, but did you see them a year ago? when they were dying. Oh, the vibrance they have now. That's why we have to be careful only to compare ourself to ourselves. you know? He lived there, Prince. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to look for the I have some kind of little bit of buildup on the end of my hair for some reason. It just doesn't want to curl as bouncy as normal. And um, I think it's the fact that I'm in transition of getting a new water filter system in the tub. And so the one on the shower and the tub, the tub, sometimes I will leave like, leave a conditioner in my hair when I rinse it under there. I think that that's super hard water because you know you're probably at least rinsing a gallon of water through your hair. I know that sounded wasteful, didn't it? But, but we have to rinse, right? And so, think about this. The amount of, it looks like calcification and rust deposits in the bottom of my pure water water distiller after one gallon, even if it's freshly clean. Well, you didn't just clean the pipes of your house that was built in 1939, right? in the old historical pod you live in. Like, you know they're old, okay? And, um, which is something, speaking of Scott Crow, he was talking about um, the water problems over there and just the contaminants because the pipes are so old. He used to work at the waterworks. Anyway, um, so I think that it has calcium calcification on my curls, okay? That's wrong. So, what do you think, Cardi? That's what I think. Because I was telling Cardi about that and the chlorine in there. I was telling her about that and um, she was saying, how could your hair have buildup? Which is a good question because the only products I use are silicone, sulfate, um, paraben-free, you know? I'm a curly girl. Release the curls and the bounce. Yeah, Robin, Target sells a cure. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I have some a cure at home. I don't find it gets the buildup off. I think that I'm going to go with a Diva Curl Buildup Buster. I think it's pricey. It's like $24, but you don't need much. And um, it is vegan and cruelty free and all of the baddies free. So it has that, um, I think it's called myocellular or cellular water or anyway it kind of wraps around and pulls off so that's what I'm gonna try yeah you can rinse your hair Stephanie that's a good point apple cider vinegar and water but it my hair it's too dry if I do that so I'm gonna try something um, off topic did you get did you get to buy that twin home you were thinking about so you could travel oh a tiny home I decided that that wasn't going to be the best bang for my buck when I heard that the resale on those was an immediate it was a big drop and I'm just not knowing if I want to live in a tiny home my whole life actually I'm <laughs> I'm knowing I don't I like things to have a place, and even though I'm very minimalistic, I just, I don't think it's for me. 
Will you be doing a video on your water distiller and using distilled water to wash your fruits and veggies? Am I? Yes, I am. That's another thing too. Like if you put um, if you put water in ice cube trays, are you using pure water or are you using sink water? When you put them in the trays, are they those plastic dollar trays that are BPA or are you getting something different? When you go out to eat and you're still on coffee or you're drinking whatever, do we realize they're using sink water? I, I'm gonna just stop eating out altogether. I mean, I can go there with you, but I'm just gonna bring my food with me. I, do I eat overt fats every day on raw vegan? I do, but I keep my fat between about 10 and 12% max. Sometimes it's a little lower, so it averages about 10, but, and the way I do that is I stretch the fat in my evening recipes. So I can get a whole dressing that's at minimum half of a Vitamix full of dressing for about 170 calories of fat. Now think about that. When you're talking about overt fat, we're not talking about the little bit of the small amounts of fat in um, greens and things like that. We're talking about adding in fats like that. And let's say you got, that that's about over three tablespoons of raw whole hemp seed hearts. That'll make a hearty dressing, very a fatty mouthfeel satiating dressing. Well, even if you had a 1700 calorie diet, 170 calories coming from overt fat like that, that's 10%, but you're probably gonna eat more than that. So you can tally in a little bit of chia seeds in the day, which is what I do, which are all the macros too, by the way. And the little bit you would get in fruits and even uh, fruits, even fruits and veggies and, and greens. But another thing to think about is, <clears throat> how are you balancing your omega and your, your omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids? I have some videos on that. How much fat and what type of fat that you can find on my YouTube channel called Tanny Raw. And um, I have many videos on that. Stretching the fat, I have a video I put up there today and you're gonna see how this mammoth serving of food that I'm gonna eat later has less than 200 calories of fat in there, okay? Another thing is you can get a lot of your omega-3 fatty acids from greens, depending on how many calories you're eating and the size. Um, also, how, how well your, your uptake is of nutrients, how well your digestion runs. Um, because the food and nutrients only as good as the amount of food nutrients that you uptake, right? You digest and assimilate, which was a big problem of mine years ago. But um, you can even get enough omega-3s just from greens. You're eating about a pound and a half of greens. You're like, what? Listen, friend, that's nothing. You could put a half a pound of greens in two smoothies, okay? That's a pound. And then a half a pound at dinner. That ain't nothing, nothing. And I have some video, a video called Eating at Two Pounds of Greens. And you can watch that and see how I take this huge, like bigger than my head and hair combined, huge bowl of greens. And I break that down by pulsing it in the food processor and seeing how that really looks more doable for you. You know, also if you have digestion problems, how much easier that is to digest for you, you know? What do y'all think? That was just a backing up thing. Yeah. <laughs> Shay, hello beautiful, how are you? Auburn Angel, is that you? Shay, I follow you, I follow her over on Facebook and I enjoy her post, yes I do. Shay is a person right there that will tell you, hey, you don't like it that I posted a picture of my new hair and, and makeup I did? So? You don't like it that I was feeling good today and I felt good and I wanted to smile at the world and I posted that. So, she's basically like, get off my page. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, girl, it really is. Uh, banana vegan, I keep on seeing you say that, but I don't want to give you, I don't want to hash out a plan to, where I know nothing about you. That is irresponsible of me, so I'm not going to do that. And I, I hate to say this out loud because I, 
I don't go around saying, hey, you know, I offer coaching programs, I offer books, I offer all this. Because I'm not a salesperson. Like, if somebody, and also, I'm not trying to talk anybody into doing anything because I don't find it effective or valuable for them. So, I feel like people that are interested in that, they can go over and look at my website, it's tannyroll.com, and um, we can see if we're a fit for each other. And I feel like anybody coming from an eating disorder needs some help. That's what I think. I mean, and, and it could just be, really, that's not even true. You could feel like you have an eating disorder because you're used to under eating. You're always starving. So you're in like a binge and purge mode, right? We've all been there. Maybe not purging, but still, we know how that is. We starve and then we binge. Or, um, or maybe you feel like, well, how am I supposed to get full on this? You know, you don't understand why your body gains weight when you're only eating 900 calories. Because that's an a, adaptive thing your body does to survive right and is it going to be giving nutrients to your hair your skin your nails your libido your eyesight any of that no it's trying to stay alive so um anyway that's kind of hit or miss on that but that's why i'm not i'm not telling you that i, I see your question though You know, speaking of Shay, she is somebody that's really trying to heal a lot of autoimmune disorders. And it's one of those things that they kind of, it's like you go to the doctor and it's like them playing whack-a-mole with your health. You know, one one day it's this, you have this, and next day you have that. And then you're on this cocktail of medicines that guess what, are causing all this other stuff. And I feel like if I could lock Shay in my house and fast her up, uh, up to health and get her on board, that, that girlfriend, Healing is real, that's what I think. Every time I see you in pain, I think, healing is real, Did, does she know? Does she know? Because for a long time I didn't know. Um, I'm gonna go, Target is very busy, and I love you. And we walked from the end of the parking lot and, and started at the bottom, and now we're here, right? I love you, see you later, alligators. Bye, thanks for coming to Target.